Welcome back to Thwomp Plays XCOM 2, episode 11, I believe. Yes. Operation Steel Chalice. Did we start a roof? No, oh, no. We're in a train depot. That'd be great. Shit. Dropping into Chicago here. Looks just like it. Circa 2060. Do we have a specialist? Yes. Oh, thank God. Alan. Menace 1 5. We've got a bead on the advent data vault near your position. Be advised. Self detonating charges are in place at the target. Move to disarm and extract the package before its contents are destroyed. Well, just straight up the train, I guess. Yeah, it's not too far. Should get some okay cover. We can maybe pop on top of the train for a couple aim bonuses. If we're careful. Uh, and we have. No, not one of every class. Scott is a rookie. We do have a Grenadier. We do have a Blade Master. Ranger. We... I almost think you should just stick on one side, eh? And just try to ignore the other side of the train. This this mission can be tricky. Um, eight turns is not a long time. No, it's not. And you gotta get inside that train. Like, I don't think uh, your specialist is gonna be able to Hack see without it, opening it from the outside. Yeah. So, time is of the essence here. Did you check on the right side at all? Is there a building there or anything? I don't know. That's an option. I don't know that we have time. I mean... Yeah, maybe not. Like, maybe getting up onto the second building would be a good idea. But I think you just might need to... Boogie. Boogie. You are in concealment, so... You can definitely make a couple bold moves off the bat. Bold moves Gillis, they call him. Well, let's get the party started, dude. Sacrificial Scott. The Scott. Alright. I mean, you could just move all the way up and plan to put him behind, behind some cover up here. Why? Why did it show us that? No longer have control of the game. Really? Oh, but you'll never see them loading or unloading any cargo. At least not where anyone can see it. Seems sinister. The pregnant pause certainly made me worried. Um Yeah, that seems good. Then we'll Okay. 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 Figure out what's happening after that. I want to do something like move Scott to this position first, just so we don't accidentally like get flanked there. Because I'll see you if you're stealthed, uh, if they flank you, right? Mm. So a lot safer now because Scott would have seen it. That's this uh, armored vehicle here looks like a pretty yeah. safe place. It's probably reasonable. Okay. I'm a reasonable man. Get on the roof. <laughs> Whoa. 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 Fuck you, game. Okay. Whoops. God damn it. We're all right. We're all right. <laughs> we survived it. Um, The misclick gambit, they call that. I think you might want to do something similar again, maybe. Well, I don't know. Moving one person up into some good hardcover is probably a good idea. Moving to designated position. I love how she whispers. Guys! Guys! Hey! <laughs> okay, she can only see one of them. So let's make sure we get... Uh, see if we can get some eyes on that other guy. I guess we don't have to go out this turn. A lot, actually, a lot of hard cover around here. Yeah, we actually probably want to wait one turn. They might walk out of uh, out of vision, but... Um, I still think we can get a little bit closer without uh, them seeing us. So might behoove us to do so. Yeah, that's definitely a good spot. Uh, not, yeah, like that's a great place. No need to ask twice. It would suck if there's someone in this building. I can't tell you how many times um, I'll start a mission in concealment on top of a roof and jump somebody off the edge and jump right beside civilians on the ground floor. Mm. You done that shit? Oh, look at this. Yeah. Oh, it's a city. It's a city. 
Uh, it's definitely a spot. You might want to see if you can... Is there more hardcover over here? Like, these two places, you definitely want people to notice. Because you're going to want some, like, angled shots. No one can see that fucking captain. Janabai. Hammer could take that other one. Oh man, I wish I could. No, I, I don't wish you could overwatch, really. We could go here and here. Yeah, could do. Hopefully they move towards us and on the way. Um, your overwatch isn't going to go off, though, because they're not going to break your concealment, I don't think. Oh, they, you won't. You yeah, won't overwatch out of concealment? No, you'll only fire at them if they see you. So you might as well yell them about Position confirmed. Just a bit of extra distance here. There's this spot right here is not horrible. Um, I kind of want to just keep this spot. Yeah, you can keep it. Well, let's see. But it's pretty far away. Is that hard covered? These little things. Yeah. Like hanging them out there. Okay. I think it'll be okay. Copy. Yeah, they walked away from you. Not surprised. A lot it's of ground like, covered. Yeah. You might as well hang them out because they're just as likely to walk the other way, right? Man, you still got a ways to go. Yeah. And only six turns to do it. Maybe it's best to avoid contact with these guys. I mean, you'll probably get pincered later. <laughs> but. I think we try and take a turn to wipe them out. Yeah, definitely. Not going to be this turn. Yeah, that's risky. Um, what do your roof options look like now? Is this a tower? Yeah, it's a tower. Mm -hmm. uh, I feel like that's backtracking a bit. Yeah, and you're sort of... I think I think if you're going to engage them, you're you won't be able to engage them until next turn anyway. At this point, so maybe the best play is just to take some good yellow moves up into good cover that looks down that alley they're in. And if they walk towards you, deal with them next turn. And if they keep walking away, maybe just run past them, hack the objective, and then turn to face them. Although you'll probably have hit another pod by then. So there's. Like, that's a very good spot. Both of those are good spots. Here in yeah. there? Yeah, I think it gets away from that. Good cook there. Uh, there's a chance of popping another pot here, though. True. So you definitely want to put someone in this one first, since they have cover in that direction, at least. Yeah, he's a good candidate. I think. Yeah, oh my god. Piece of shit. <sighs> Worked out. Damn it. Is there anyone that can get there with a the blue move? No, there isn't. Okay. No. So. Who goes? She's a good candidate, I think. Uh, you might be able to blue move Scott and Overwatch in case they do turn around. Like here? Yeah. So I might uh, keep that option available to you. Okay. Thankfully he won't break concealment. Yeah, and then if we end up going loud next turn, he can just walk up to that corner. And take a great shot from a really good position. And where does he go? That's, really That's a far long up. way away. I would not make that move. <laughs> you go here. Could, but like you might see somebody else over there. And if they then patrol into you and break your concealment, you'll pop two pods. So like you could move here. And Overwatch in case they do walk out. Concealment. But they might just keep moving down that alley. You've got a vision there. Let's see what they do. They keep going. Now, I'm quite sure that you could get. Uh, okay, well, look how close you are to the train. So maybe now is a good turn to engage them. The train's right there. You're two moves away from it, essentially. You've got to go through this group of civilians anyway. 
So that's like kind of a pain in the ass. You can probably set up some really good flanks right now and take them both out. Like half your people don't even have to move, maybe. Scott can definitely come take that corner position. It's so juicy. He should have vision. I guess we should have maybe absolutely check that. But okay, he's got vision on one. 67 is not the worst. Um, you might decide... Vision on the other one. Yeah, you might want to move some of these guys up. Just to yeah, get... Yeah, so uh, Kirk's the Grenadier, and you could potentially light him up by... starting with a grenade. Yeah, that would guarantee some of their deaths, for sure. That's a good spot. Yeah. No matter what happens, I think. You're planning to kill them with this trap, so... I think opening with a grenade's not a bad idea. Overwatch everyone else? Yeah, unless you want to try to move them up further. To guarantee that they both have really good shots on everybody. But then you lose your cover, so... But hopefully they die. All at once, right? They should... they should die. Yeah. Yeah. He's gonna overwatch, because he's yeah. already moved. Yeah. That's definitely true. No good place to move. Well, that's not horrible. That, that might give a flank on this guy. Well, they're, I think they're both flanked now because they're not in cover, right? They're just patrolling. I'm going to move this guy here, I think. Yeah, I, th I think that's a decent idea. I'm Hopefully we don't get any vision we don't want. Call a group of hostiles over here. <laughs> so, uh, fucking turret. So if, if we light him up, they'll see us. Yeah. If, if, you're, break into if your cover gets blown, and I think because you're flanked right now, they might be able to see you on their turn. So you pretty much have to move her back. Whether or not you want to be this turn. So now the question is, do we want to? Well, I think with two good overwatches and a grenade, you'll probably kill them both. I think so. Yeah, I think so. Go big or go home. It is the frag, not the flashbang. That's good. <laughs> yeah, that looks great. Good luck, ladies and gentlemen. Really use a crit. I don't, I don't think grenades can crit until you get the grenadier uh, perk. The they can do four. Doesn't. Oh, really? Yeah. M maybe not. Well, that's, that's not a crit, though. That's right. It's their damage range. Right? Right. Kill him. You have betrayed us for the last time. Good job, Scott. It's a problem. Yeah. This could be the death of Kirk. Nope, Scott, maybe. Oh, God. I didn't know they had grenades. Ouch. I did not know they had grenades. Oh, panic. That's just what we need. Just kill, kill him. Shoot at him. Oh, please kill him. Please kill him. Please kill him. That bit of sidewalk will never be the same again, though. <laughs> okay, um, you could definitely flank with Kirk here and avoid popping that other pod. Right? Like, move away from that other pod. Go here. I me? might even wonder, like, back here somewhere. So you're like, and even make him so he runs around in this direction. Possibly. Dear God, what's happening? Hmm. Yeah, that'll be a solid flank. Heading to that location. Pretty sure that won't pop the other pod. Good management. Kirk, do it. Crab! Canada's greatest son. <laughs> Says a lot about Canada. Says a lot about Kirk. Um... Cool, okay, so you've got some good hardcover positions. I don't think any of those will pop. Where did? It was this tile here, right? Yeah. I know no one at home can see what I'm pointing at, but this one. yeah, that one there. So I hope those other ones won't. This one probably that would. That one will for sure, I should think. So these two. Could be safe. Please, please let them be safe. Ooh, fuck. That sucks. That was one shiny butt. 
Can that turret see you? Oh my god. That turret needs to be grenaded. Okay, well at least you got a shot at somebody. Or you could just overwatch. Uh, Zaythers needs uh, a better plan of action. I think that's pretty good. Close. Um, I am wondering if maybe the turret can't see you. Well, I can't see the turret. And it would be really good to not let that turret, turret shoot at you. I think. Yeah, agreed. Especially since it has elevation. Okay. So we may have just got Kirk flanked. Which is a real problem. Does he have any good shots? Negative. Well, that stun lancer's gonna run, probably. So overwatches are not too bad. You don't have a good grenade. Please don't kill Kirk. Or, or another mind control. control. Well, that could have been worse. Kill him. Oh, just get lucky. That seems like the natural panic reaction. Run toward them and fire your gun. This is bad, though. Damn it. Looks like he's going for Kirk, eh? Oh, please. Yeah, kill him. Four damage is four damage. That helps. It's still alive. That's good. That's another bush. All right, you only have one unit active. This is fantastic, Dave. Menace one five. The clock is ticking. That detonator isn't going away. Get to the vault and disarm yeah. it before Thanks. we run out of time. Okay, Hammer can probably take care of that guy all by his lonesome. Uh, hmm. Definitely want to move. Can't. Can't move. He was stunned. He's stunned. Though. Okay. Well, I. Th you know the turret can't see you. The sector is pretty far away. I think you just take the shot. Oh, the greatest. Oh, present. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's unpanicked. That's good. Oh, yeah. I forgot he was still here. What happened to him? <laughs> it's very Scott-like. <laughs> um, can you get up? No. Can you, I was wondering, can you get anywhere close can enough to frag that, up? Uh, frag that turret? I don't think you can. Yeah, one more. Yeah, but you really need hard cover if you're going to move up. Um, because that turret's just gonna absolutely roast you. Those things are not to be trifled with. No. Um... Shit, like, why can't you go there? Oh, <laughs> what a pain in the ass. Uh, is, is getting up on this roof the worst idea? I mean, uh, yes, it's on fire, but... Is there... Um, no, no good blue moves up. Would have liked an aim bonus. We don't even have vision. You definitely try to swing around this way. Um, just yellow move? Yeah. Or you could just... Can you blue move anywhere decent? No. Not really, eh? Because you no. need a reload, too. Not right away, but soon-ish. You do sort of have to advance. I mean... Really do. Yeah. Like, we got a... That's not hard cover, is it? Right there? No. Nope. We got to cover a lot of ground very quickly. Yeah. We have two turns to hack that thing. Yeah. You can't put anybody in uh, half cover against that turret, though. I don't think. I think that's suicide. Fuck. Like, why? Yeah, it really sucks that you can't make it to that tile. Um, is it worth taking a really long yellow move around and staying out of line of sight of the turret, like back here? So the next turn you can pop into this decent hard cover in this other green square up here. I guess so. And maybe, or maybe, someone's gotta get close enough for a grenade next turn. Uh, hopefully, well, Kirk's only got a flashbang, though. That won't deal with that turret. Overwatch? What a frag will. Uh, yeah, it might be your best option. I don't know, I don't know see that. Now she's wounded, too, you like, you can't move her up. It's so scary. Yeah. I could put her here, but then, I mean, 
she'll at least have hard cover against the turret. She will. But that's super scary. With her only at 3 health and being your only specialist. Um, you've got combat protocol. Does that help you? Not really. You could aid protocol, the only guy who can get hit by the turret, which is your panic unit. Not the worst idea. You could aid protocol and overwatch. Yeah, all right. That might be a pretty good move, I think. But man, you got a boogie. No doubt about it. Oh my God, they shoot! I'm under fire. That's. Feels good, man. Got JPEG. Let's get this guy back, please. No more panic. That would be nice. Because I'm thinking he can flank that sector. Beautiful. From up there. You could blade him. Mm, oh, blading him's a very good move. No one's going to be able to frag that thing, though. It. But that's actually kind of good. What's the plan? I mean, we can kill the sectoid by blading him, but then we're like... H hanging our dicks in the wind, hey? If, uh, if we can kill the sectoid and leave ourselves in hard cover against the turret, it might be worth doing. I think that's the only yeah. way we beat this mission. I think so. Might mean getting Zaythers possibly killed, but um, Zaither should be able to, yeah, should be able to hack him and stay in this hardcover position right here. Yeah, perfect. 94 for the kill. Doesn't get much better than that. Got it. Are not flanked. Get rid of that yellow shield, please. Nicht schlecht. Please. It takes a while to. It's still yellow. Who's he flanked by? He is not flanked by that turret. That's bullshit. You can't even see the turret. Where's the turret? It's, on, it's right here. Oh, cool. Maybe the turret can't see him. And he has a grenade. He could just grenade it next turn, probably. So then we just get everybody else in position to. If the turret can't see your ranger, you may not want to let anybody else see. The turret. Yeah, but we need to get the specialist in range to hack it. Next turn, literally next turn. Oh shit! Yeah, you're right. Sorry, two turns. Call. That might be a better choice. Just worried about popping one more pod or something like that. Okay, so he can't get there. So he's, he's got to take that. Yeah. Oh, rookies. Barely move at all. Oh, I would hate to lose Kirk. Already there. He yeah, says if we lose this mission. Ominously. Okay. And let's yellow move her up. To, like, is that hard cover? That would be fine, probably. Because anyone can just run in and hack the thing. It doesn't have to be. If they get inside it, beside it, right here. that could be fine. But like, I don't know. Oh man, I don't know. It might be faster to go from here. You're gonna have to run all those tiles around. Like, what if, what if she doesn't? She probably can't ha remotely hack it because she doesn't have line of sight on it. So someone's gonna have to go inside that train car. I bet. I'm all over it. Not in love with this. Oh, it's real scary. Please don't kill anybody. Oh. Very nice. Fire. What was that? Oh, the building behind us that was on fire. Right. Okay, so, um, 
Zaythers with the grenade, maybe? Or do you think you should bring someone that's further away up to grenade? Uh, not Kirk, because he already used his frag. So maybe Scott? Like up to... That's at least hardcover, I bet. Yeah, you can probably frag it from there. And hopefully it falls through and dies. Please, please. Uh, ooh, you might want to do the one that blows out the um, the door there. Because, yeah, maybe then you'll be able to get easy line of sight with your specialist and just end it. Could that potentially destroy the actual container? I don't know. You want to spin it around and see if it's lighting it up? Maybe if you can look in from the backside of the train or something like that. Yeah, it's definitely something to worry about. Can't tell. Can't tell. Here Can't goes tell. nothing. <laughs> Foreshadowing. It did not fall through. Okay. Well, the fact that you blew that open means you can remote hack it now. Probably. But not from here. Being flanked and all. Uh, you could probably remote hack it from right there. You just need to have someone else deal with that guy. And of course there's a turret still. But you gotta hack it this turn, or you're fucked, right? Seems like a decent place to kill that guy from. Yep, I think you should do that. Looks solid. Um, other options. Could send Zaythers up to hack that turret. Hack um, it with his sword? Yeah, <laughs> that's what I meant. Um, there is, of course, a guy on, I think it was the sectoid on the other side of the train. Something to worry about as well. I mean, that's going to kill it. Yeah, I should think. Or not. Pants are on the puffin. Pants are on the puffin. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Um, okay, easy flank there. I think that's a thing you do. Well, we have to Yeah. do this. You got to hack. But, I mean, yeah, where you, where you put her to hack sort of depends on whether or not this guy's alive and flanking you, right? So we can't kill that guy, the turret, and hack. Sure you can. Oh no, Scott threw a grenade, right? Yeah. Oh fuck. Okay, well you got a hacker, you lose the mission, right? Yeah. I can't believe that slash didn't kill that fucking turret. Yeah, that's horseshit. Mm -hmm. Well, is that where you're doing it from? plan? I don't know. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out whether it's better to leave the turret or the soldier alive. I think either way it might mean a dead squad member. Yeah, I think so. Good copy. Moving on target. Objective in range. Um, I don't have a hack option. Uh, that's interesting. Can you hack if you move blue move or yellow move next to it? I don't think so. I swear to God, I've hacked these things before. We know she can see it. Try tapping to a different person. Oh, it's this is why. It was waiting for Bradford. There it is. Accessing system. Dear God. Oh, Bradford. Fucking gremlin. That was the most direct route, for sure. Yeah. That's how he was going to do it. Why didn't he, uh... Why couldn't you do that from a long way away? I well, might as well go for the one you have a chance of getting. Yes. Just... Cool. Hey, and we're oh. researching Meg weapons. 50%? Holy shit, that's really useful. That's massive. And we're getting a scientist from this mission. Aren't we? I think so. I think so. Right. So man, we're gonna have mag weapons really fast. 
That's a, a huge boon. Now let's see if we have anybody left alive to use them. So, are you gonna kill the trooper, or are you gonna take a shot at the turret? I think either way, that's a good place to be. Get a little closer. Come, sir. Yeah. If you kill the guy... If you kill the guy, Zathers is probably dead. Uh, how much health does Zathers have? Okay, he might live. He might survive a shot. Okay. I think if we leave this guy alive, he kills Kirk. He right? kills Kirk, probably. Yeah, or our only specialist would be really bad too. Yep, I'm for it. It's a better percent chance to hit. Too. Sent him that? flying. Okay, just miss. Oh, you're right. Actually, mind control Zathers and oh. take a low percentage shot at somebody else. Huh. Okay, not all bad. Turret, my turret. Can you take a turret to oh, the face? Oh, dear God. Oh, my <gasps> God. Oh, okay. Finally, some luck. The XCOM gods have smiled on us this day. So, um, Zathers might be able to... To hack the sectoid, eh? Hack the sectoid. Gosh. Yeah, totes. Oh, so good. We're doing it. Oh, you're doing it. Zathers is going the mile here. Oh yes, yes it is. No the pods, dead sectoid. About to have a dead turret, about to have a finished mission. Pick up some fat loots. Something good, something real good, something real good. Core, a repeater, and a data cache. Cold hard data cache. Data data bills, yo. Uh, so someone should be able to put this thing in the dirt. Yeah, if I could. Really? <laughs> I think I see a hostile. That was weird. That is weird. Everyone wounded because of that one uh, grenade. captain's grenade. I did not know captains had grenades. They're, they weren't big wounds, though, so they shouldn't take too long, and we could put an engineer in the healing bay. Uh, that's the Advanced Warfare Center. Did we build it? We didn't. We started building the Proving Grounds, and we've got a... Uh, oh. The other thing. Oh. The terrorist training camp. Gorilla attack at school, whatever it's called. Oh. So. Everyone lived. Everyone lived. Look let's, at, let's call that a fucking success. Yeah, man. Things are looking up. Hey, cheers. <laughs> Had to happen sometime. Man, that miss from point blank is crucial. Yeah. Yeah. Zazers was staring down the death himself. The cannon of death. death right between the barrels. It's very strange that we didn't have to kill that thing. It is. That is super weird. I would have preferred if we did, actually. I assume it's experience we just missed. Lame. But I don't think we can complain about anything on that mission. No, just the grenade out of nowhere, really. No one expects the advent commander grenade. Not us. A couple of promos here. They're all gravely wounded. That's not good. That what sucks. do we got? Specialist. Okay. Don't mind that. It's nice to see uh, Kirk out for a mission every three weeks or so. <laughs> uh, 23 days? Oh my god. So I always take Shredder on these guys. I think it's too good to avoid. Well, if you had some blast padding last mission, <laughs> it would have been nice. Everyone's neck hurts. Yeah, look at this. Twelve kills. Wow. Well, yeah, Zathers is a machine, man. Uh, lots of nice stuff here. Laser sight. I think we know who that's going on. Yeah. Um, Hello. small problem I see. Of course, Julie Dupont from uh, 
DuPont Chemical Corporation. DuPont Chemical Corporation, exactly. Um, we might have to hire four Amanda, rookies. No one left to deploy. We have to get some new recruits. It's gonna cost us a hundred bucks. The ongoing stress of combat can shake up even the. Are we scanning for uh, a soldier? As right long now. as we keep them healthy. We are. I'm sure Holy Ouch. Hannah! Twenty-five days. Yikes! Wow. We would probably still be better off. <sighs> can we pull one of our engineers? Clear this faster, build. Build. We can't uh, put two engineers on clearing that, but you, we could build the advanced uh, thing there. But then you're not going to have any money to hire soldiers. Truth. I don't know where people are getting those damn advent burgers, but if I find another wrapper stuffed under one of these command consoles, You were scanning for a soldier, though, right? Yeah. So that's one. <laughs> <laughs> so then you can spend 75 to hire three rookies. And hope we don't hit a mission. Leave yourself with 50. Uh, did anybody get up to sergeant there? No, no one did. No, no one did. Both corporals. Um, Zathers isn't a sergeant yet? Oh, maybe. Yeah. Okay, so you could buy squad size <laughs> for 50. And I think have enough... Three. No, yeah, you're 25 bucks short of buying squad size and four rookies and scanning for this last soldier. <laughs> I don't, you can't afford to buy um, the advanced tactics school. I we almost I can't afford not to. Well, dude, if you do it, you might be going on the next mission with one soldier. Because it costs like 110, doesn't it? Something like that. We don't have power. It's also 21 days and we don't have power. So that answers that question. conversation is done with. Uh, let's keep scanning, I guess, and get that soldier. You can hire rookies as soon as the mission pops. That's no problem. It yeah. don't take time to get to you or anything like that. <laughs> well, you gotta. I think you scan for the yeah the one soldier down here first, the actual good one. And then maybe just go to that instead. Course. Maybe we'll get lucky and they won't give us a mission for nine days. Oh, please. <sighs> Is this a mission? Hello, Commander. It would seem your recent activities have... Oh, okay, it's just the beginning of this. It's not a mission. That's good. Why does this start with three? That's unfair. Yeah, why not just make the bar smaller? Uh, let's finish scanning. You're burning daylight. Okay, Corporal Sharpshooter. Something. Corporal Johnny Goudreau. Nice. He has been termed a bit of a sniper, if you know what I mean. Uh, should we go get some rookies? Maybe. Now the problem is, if we don't get this before the next mission, we have to hire them, which makes all the time we spend scanning here useless. Yep. Please. That's nice. These magnetic-based weapons are a lot like Not. the early railgun prototypes. They fight. No one wants to watch you fire a gun. No one wants to watch you squeeze a couple off Shen. Sectoid autopsy is instant. Sure. Why? Weird. Eh, might as well do the instant one. <laughs> Though I was never witness. Okay. Kexberg. Kex. The sectoid's rapid physical <laughs> evolution over the past twenty years. Is a testament to both the aliens' master and out. Resistance radio. Their pursuit of advancement. Regardless Turn that shit up. Risks. Yeah. I don't know what. Uh, the stun lancer will give you your next blade if you want it. Uh, I usually sell the data caches instead of uh, researching them. Uh, but you do that at the black market. Yeah. So you usually don't have like seventy-five or so. Um, that's obviously good. You don't have money to buy any of these weapons yet, though. 
jetzt wieder so. I am at a loss. And let's try to scan for these rookies before we get a mission. Oh, please, RN Jesus. We beseech thee. Alright. Definitely view room, because you want your engineers to do something. Uh, be, careful, be careful where you build it, though. You don't just want to put it anywhere. Um, why is that? Uh, because, again, about the workshop synergy stuff you can do. Yeah. Um, you want to build power things over the exposed power coils. Because they give you like 10 energy instead of 3. Okay. But uh, it takes like 30 days to excavate that. Yeah. So you could throw it up in the corner. There. Like that's probably a better place for it. I definitely need that. Let's build one more building. Um, Maximum power consumption reached. Yeah, advanced warfare takes uh, three energy. Hey? That's a pain. Uh, let's keep getting those rookies. Please, please let us do this. Please. Holy shit. <laughs> right, I suppose we start at the same time. Yeah. Maximum power consumption reached. Uh, what should we do with the other engineer? Just start this? Could do. Uh, our proving grounds is done. That's what that was, right? That's the top right building. Is there anything cheap we can start building in here? We could probably do squad size as well. Oh, if we can do squad size, it's probably a good idea if we have the money uh, to also hire enough guys. We did get some money. Let's take a look at our project here. So we don't want to do anything that costs supplies, but experimental grenades only cost an Illyrium core. I think that's absolutely worth doing. Whether or not you put an engineer in here to speed it up. I'll have the team get started immediately, Commander. I'll let you know as soon as we've made progress. Okay. Let's go scan for rookies. Okay, we might be able to Finish scanning? Finish scanning. I don't know. It'll probably tell you if you can't, right? Yeah. Not two days. Damn it. Damn it. Well, well, I guess we gotta buy some rookies. So you're just gonna have to escape out of here, because you can uh, only do that from the armory, not the... Uh, The other screen, whatever it's called. Okay, how many do we need? Three. <laughs> we need three. That's 75 bucks. So let's go get them. We could... How much money do we have? Uh, one... 57. 75. Shit, yeah, we're just a little short of being able to buy the squad side up. Size upgrade as well. What is it, 50? It's 50, yeah. And then four rookies. 50 and four rookies. Oh, no, yeah, we can totally do it. What the fuck's wrong with me? Okay, sweet. That's great. Yeah, drill tactics. Fresh meat. In the grinder. Well, this is gonna help. Yeah. Man, it, the beginning of this game is so tough. Having only four guys. Let's get some... Uh... Uh, Lean's gotta come. Diana's gotta come. And. Ludmilla. And Ludmilla. She. Ludmilla is a classic XCOM name. And one more, right? Yeah. Mi Cha Song, I yeah. think. Let's take the Korean. That does not look like a Korean. Oh, there we go. That looks like a receding hairline Korean. Not really, though. Well, uh, rookies, your job is going to be. Commander, we've got local resistance forces waiting to make contact. But put yourselves at risk to open up shots for Corporal Johnny Goudreau. <laughs> Money hands. Let's give him a promotion, shall we? 
uh, long watch or return fire sort of mood. Long watch. Yeah, I think <laughs> just based on what's about to happen right here, long watch might be a good idea. Okay, not a whole lot to talk about here, hey? No, no not uh, really. Oh, you could give somebody a flashbang if you wanted to. That's a good idea, actually. Um, Ludmilla. Sure. Maybe yeah. Ludmilla. Possibly worth throwing um, that laser sight on this sniper. I thought laser sight's better on a... Oh, it's a laser sight? Sorry, I thought it was... Good. Yeah, yeah, laser sight's better for a... Ranger. Ranger. Uh, thanks, everybody. That was episode 11. Um, we're going to count that as a win. Uh, yeah, totally. Even though, you know, a combined total of like 60 days of wounds. <laughs> More than that, actually, I think. I think we, there might be some malingering happening. Guy yeah. Oh, my <laughs> my shoulder. It's no good. Yeah, you can't like, send me yeah. out. It's Kirk. It's fucking... <laughs> of course it's Kirk. <laughs> uh, well, thanks, everybody. Leave a like, subscribe, share it with your friends. Uh, come join us for episode 12. Which is Operation Summoned Calm. I thought it was Summoned Clam. Can it be Summoned <laughs> Clam? I summon you to appear, my clam. <laughs> nice, a spoon reference. Yeah. Okay, everybody. Uh, we'll see you next time. Latest. On Plum Place.